Sean and Tim, good afternoon. Parents are understandably unsettled about sending their kids back to school today. I talked to one mom who you just heard from. She says she didn't want her son to come back to school today, but that he insisted. There are a number of Baltimore County police officers stationed around campus. There are a couple by the entrance directly behind us, and we're told that there is no longer any threat to students at school. Students returned to school one day after a classmate was shot in the parking lot right after dismissal. It's okay going to school, but I mean, definitely have to be more careful. Azan Salman is a junior. He was at an after school club when gunshots were fired and school was placed on lockdown. His phone lost service for a bit, and soon after, he got a bunch of concerned text messages. They were like, Are you okay? Did you know what happened? And I was like, Yeah, I know what happened um, now, now because like, everyone's telling me what happened. Witnesses say they saw a white car pull up in the parking lot. A passenger hopped out with a gun, and that's when people started running and taking cover. Some students stayed put in the classroom until the building was searched and cleared. Azan's mom says she was nervous to send him to school. I was asking him to stay home, but since he's junior, um, he even though he said he didn't feel like going to school. But then he was like, no, mom, then I'm going to miss a lot. I have to go to school. This 16-year-old who was shot is still hospitalized, but is expected to be okay. Along with having Baltimore County Police parked around the school today, County Executive Johnny Olszewski was also on campus visiting with students and staff, trying to alleviate people's concerns. When I find out and I started praying that I, not only my child, I was hoping that every child, everybody's okay in the school. And police are still searching for the person responsible. There is still a lot of information that we're waiting to hear from police about their investigation. In the meantime, there are school counselors here on campus. They're here all week for students and staff. Live at Catonsville High School, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.